you may not be familiar with ColorSync. So I'm got ColorSync utility open here, which you can see we're on a Mac system. And we have all of the profiles broken down. Uh, these are the standard ones in the computer system that come inherent in the system. These are some ones that I've put into the computer system. Uh, these are for Canon printers. These are some with the abbreviation of Color Monkey or ones that I created using a Color Monkey. Uh, this is one that a service provider gave to me. And these are Epson color profiles because I use an Epson printer. You could slide the window open and enlarge it to see the specific listing for the particular color profile. Uh, the one I most commonly use that I find um, to my personal taste and that is pretty much um, unbiased, uh, not oversaturated, is one that's called Watercolor Radiant White. So I'll click on it here. I'm going to reduce it down. The smaller this window is, uh, the bigger your preview is going to be. And this is a 360 degree view of that specific profile. Okay, so you're seeing the whole thing in RGB right here. Now, uh, if we were to go back up to Adobe RGB, we can see it's a fairly large profile. And I can turn it around 360 degrees and see the entire gamut of color in this 3D model. So now if I click on my lab, my profile interpretation here, I can actually click on hold for comparison. These are different types of color uh, models that I can choose. I don't want to do that. I just want to hold it for comparison. We get a wireframe of that particular RGB profile, Adobe RGB. So scooting back down, and I'm gonna move this window open again, click on watercolor radiant white, reduce down my window again, and we can see that Adobe RGB now is being depicted in a wireframe. And the Epson profile, which is um, in many ways considerably smaller than Adobe RGB, is in the center of it, in interpreted and being shown here in color, not in the wireframe. What this exactly does, it shows you where you are getting more and less color from that printer profile. So I'm getting a little bit more in the cyan blue green area, a little more in the yellow and orange spectrum, and um, missing a lot of shadow and black area. So depending on your printer, the color profiles, the type of ink, the medium that you're outputting on, there's a lot of variables to color. But having this tool available to you will right away let you know how much and how little color, and specifically in what areas, what tones, whether they be RGB, uh, you know, red, green, or blue, or anything in between, that uh, what exactly you're getting. So it's a really helpful tool. And this, like I said, you can choose any color profile that you have installed in your system and make comparisons to RGB or anything you want to a CMYK profile, anything you need to. It's a really handy tool to know about. And I wanted to show you in more detail what I was referring to. Hope that's helpful.